think you've got great instincts. Maybe you're clear cognizant. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to be talking about Claire Cognizance. That is the last of the Claire's for this mini, you know, series within my Shocktoberfest 2023 series. So yeah, we're ending on Claire Cognizance. So what is Claire Cognizance? Claire Cognizance is clear knowing. It is an ESP ability. And from a feeling standpoint, it's a gut feeling or hunch over a piece of information. It's like knowing or obtaining a fact with absolute certainty before your physical body has time to learn that specific information through one or more of your physical senses. It's a type of download where the information is downloaded into your brain by an outside source, whether it's a spirit, being, entity, what have you. Outside the normal range of physical perception, you are given awareness of past, present, and or future. It can be very instinctual and can give you more control over lucid dreams and astral projection. A great example of this is knowing something dangerous is going to occur. Honestly, it may seem like a mother's instinct, but actually you are just uh, claircognizant, maybe, perhaps. Again, this ability often pairs with Claire audience and can be confused with it, but the main difference is hearing information versus knowing it when receiving the download. Energetically, it almost feels identical to Claire audience, very light and airy, just minus the hearing the talking or thinking voice. In addition to psychic hearing, this ability can commingle with other abilities. For me personally, it intermingles with clairaudience and clairvoyance, and I will just know the information right before I see the words written out in my head. In addition, I will get downloads of information that I had otherwise no way of knowing. I'll sometimes see clairvoyantly who gave me the information and then fact check it to make sure you know the information is safe and or correct to explore because it's like if you get information and you're working on a spell you want to make sure that you know the spell you're working on you're not accidentally cursing someone or sending anything malicious to somebody or that it'll backfire or like if you're cooking not just spirit cooking but like cooking food that you can eat that you don't accidentally poison yourself, you know? <laughs> Most of the time when I'm intentionally channeling for information, I will get things 20% claircognizantly, 20% clairaudiently, 20% clairsentiently, and 40% clairvoyantly. Keyword is intentionally. Now, if I'm just going on about my normal day without like trying to channel and I'm just like la di da di da, um, more times than not, I'm going to get things 70% clear sentiently and the rest about 10%. It all depends on my mood, my intentions, how lazy I am that day, or like how I want to specifically receive that information. A lot of times when it comes to cooking, creating spells, or protection rituals, I will get information this way, but yeah, um, I'm very clear. It's so weird because it's like I have all the clairs. And it also depends on the astrological planetary cycles and things. So like sometimes I'll be more one or the other of certain things. A lot of times I'll be more clairvoyant or clairsentient or one of the other ones like it depends it, temp it depends on so many things 
the downfall to Claire Cognizance is when you get downloads from negative beings that are trying to sabotage you. That's why it's always good to fact check when you can. So an example is you could get a negative entity that will try to sabotage your vacation, for example, and be like, oh, no, plane's going to crash. And then you're going to be like, the plane's going to crash? What the fuck? And it's going to send you down a downward spiral and lower your vibration by ruining your vacation, which is going to put you in a bad mood or, you know, sabotage anything you're trying to work towards or whatnot by giving you bad information. So that's why it's kind of like, "Mm." and then you also question, is it a thought that I had or is it something that was downloaded from, you know, a higher being? And it's really hard to, I don't know, For me, it's one of the abilities that makes me question a lot, like myself, if that makes sense, depending on the situation. When I'm in the groove of channeling and I'm like doing really well, it's like that flow of information will come so effortlessly. But like, let's say I'm just walking down the street and then something pops in in my head and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I'm like, did I think that? And then, you know, but then I have to analyze the thing that popped into my head and see how it was delivered and if it's something that I would have thought or would have not thought sometimes the delivery is the dead giveaway of like how it pops in your brain because let's say for example I'm drawing and I'm so focused on drawing and then all of a sudden some information pops into my head that makes no sense wasn't something I was ever thinking about that day then I would be like, oh shit, okay, okay, spirit, I see what you're doing. Obviously, I would still fact check it because I just want to make sure, you know, that it's right. But yeah, this one's kind of like harder to prove psychologically, whether it's you or spirit, and just prove in general. Because it's like clairvoyance and clairaudience and I don't know, what's the other one? Clairsentience, you can feel the things, right? And you can experience it and it's more tangible in a way and more visual kind of in a way. And it's more received through your senses, whereas your brain is very, you know, complicated and I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know if this makes sense, but that's why it's like harder to know (laughs) Um, whether it's you or you just being smart, right? Then we've got another downfall is when you can't prove the information you're receiving to be legit because there's no proof or at least proof hasn't been discovered yet. So like, for example, the video I did on Atlantis, it's like, well, until there's actual proof, how, and that's that's the same with all the psychic abilities anyway, but like, how can I prove that Atlantis existed in the first place? And, you know, I got the information that there is somebody that has proof via ancient relics and it's within, like, the Freemasons, but it's, like, only less than a handful of people would know and it's something that's passed down from generation to generation from generation within a family and it's so secretive but it's like a prized possession and they're not allowed to share it because if they did it runs the risk of um, it being stolen or sabotage or whatever so it's kind of one of those things that are very secretive but yeah or like a plane crash and there's no um, evidence of where it crashed. So you got to guess, guess where it crashed, like the MH370 situation. Although they did find pieces of it in the ocean. So now there is proof, but you get what I'm saying. Okay. Now there are ways that you can develop this skill and practice this skill and get better at it. Now, because this isn't one of my major or dominant skills, I don't have as many like different kinds of exercises that you can do, but I do have some for you guys to try if you are interested. So, you know, I'll say this for every single ability, but meditation, just sit there with your eyes closed. Honestly, for me, I like no sounds because 
when you have music, it kind of gives rise to thoughts and I don't want to have to be thinking. And if, because if I'm thinking, then I'm going to question, is it because I thought it because my brain was smart or was it something that spirit gave me? So that's why I don't like sounds, music, or any kind of distractions. You could just sit there, silence your mind. Sometimes that's really difficult, but you got to do it. You got to do it. And, you know, just be, just exist and see what pops into your head and then write it down and then fact check it. And then then just keep doing that. The other thing you can do, there are games, there are apps. A lot of the games are apps, but on your phone. They have games specifically for training your psychic abilities. So there's one called ESP Trainer. There's one, I think that's called Are You Psychic? There's one Intu, I think, I-N-T-U, I think that's one. Um, But you can literally um, type in Psychic Practice. Um, There's one called Extra Sensory with a hand. But yeah, there's there's so many apps you can use and play around with in an unconventional way. You could try escape rooms, <laughs> see if you can escape, um, and an even less conventional way, um, but maybe slightly dangerous. So if you do this specific thing, please do it with supervision, like professional supervision and a GPS. You can purposely get lost. and then try to find your way back okay maybe don't do that don't do that I'm just kidding okay don't do that but you get what I'm trying to say I mean you can get lost in a safe environment right and then try to find your way back like a corn maze where there's other people okay you can try that I mean google it and then be like hey practice okay but like kidding aside there are things you can do Again, my preference is meditation just because, you know, I've been doing it for two to three years and two plus hours every single day. So that's why I like my meditation because for me it worked. You can, oh, something I didn't say in the other Claire videos is you can ask, hey, spirit guides, can you please give me practice? for these things and they'll train you on the astral realm and or put you in um, circumstances or situations where you'll have to practice. It can be somewhat intimidating, but you know, your spirit guides have your best interest in mind. So, I mean, as long as you have benevolent uh, spirit guides. So uh, anyway, but yeah, that's it for this video. I know this one's shorter. It's like each one is shorter than like clairvoyance, but you know, clairvoyance was the introductory of all this stuff. But guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. You are super special. Awesome. And uh, any thoughts, questions, concerns, experiences, how do y'all, if you have claircognizant abilities, how do you experience them? I want to know. I want to know. So yeah, see you guys soon. Or actually see you tomorrow. Peace. If you like learning about mediumship abilities, I highly recommend watching the Clairsentience video if you haven't checked it out already, where you can learn about Clairsentience and how to develop it.